Welcome to Airy Motorsports. Dun 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 dun. Hey, Travis. Hey, buddy. Can y'all see the cage? There's a cage back where we're starting. Um. <laughs> content lately uh, but that's gonna change we have some big plans for the channel and basically we're sitting down now to talk about it because we have some gaps in the Impreza sleeper video and um, we have a uh, spoiler alert the car is basically finished I've been driving it around it's swapped ready to go uh, it's awesome um, but we're just now catching back up to all our footage, and some of the footage is going to be spotty, so uh, keep that in mind when watching it. Uh, while this video is going on, uh, there'll be clips going on somewhere of us pulling um, the motor and some of the stuff from the ship. Yeah, pulling the stock 1.8 valve, pulling the interior out of the 1.8 valve. Yeah. yeah, pulling the dash, pulling the harness, um, and then it's going to kind of like then we might have a couple little funny clips or whatever, but then it's going to kind of cut abruptly and the shell is going to be like a rolling shell with, with no windows, no doors, no dash. Uh, but it's, it's going to be painted green and it's going to have body work done. And the reason for that is, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons why we had to like talk through this. So basically what happened was I got sent on a long work. Um, I had like a lot of, uh, work out of the state and um, I gave my friend Matthew a uh, kind of a deadline uh, but going back to Matthew uh, we were going to keep the car the red sleeper and keep it cheap and uh, my friend Matthew he decided that he was going to quit the body shop he was working at and at the time which I also don't have a lot of video of I had bought and sold like three or four STIs uh, parted them out and uh, I had like a lot of trade value and I ended up with like a motorcycle at one point and then Matthew decided he wanted the motorcycle and he was just starting up his body shop and I was like you know what like you're just starting the body shop I'll give you this motorcycle you can sell the motorcycle and then you know we can use that money to paint my car with it'll give you some like starting cash and I know you do a really good job and uh, his company is called Kiwi Productions, and I painted the car green, too. I really wanted a dark green car, so it kind of worked out. I, I, it wasn't the plan for the car, but now plans have changed, and uh, I think it turned out really good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, it looks good in the sunlight. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a real dark green, and then, like, in the shade, it goes almost black. Um, kind of the, it's still, you know, four-door, of course. Uh, right now, it's wingless. It's got, um, like, a... A RS type hood. It's got a bigger hood scoop, RS front bumper, um, big front mount intercooler. Um, what else has he got going on? We got some, uh, we got a few body panels and oh, stuff. Don't ruin the future videos. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's true. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, um, so this video is supposed to be part three. Yeah, it's part three. Uh, so sleeper part three. Um, and we're going to keep them like part four, part five. Uh, but from going from going now forward. on, going forward, it's not going to be. It is a sleeper still. I mean, Ish. I don't want to spoil how much power it makes or the build or whatever. But it's it's a quick car, and like we've done a, a couple little likes, a couple little races. Uh, Nate Nate Fry, if he's watching this, he, he'll uh, he'll probably be butthurt a little bit. Uh, it it's hurt some feelings. Uh, um, but yeah, so. Um, in the background, we have the rally car, and um, after the sleeper video, so Danny's got the sleeper videos all uh, ready to go. So after this video, we'll have the sleeper videos start posting up. He's gonna schedule them like a delay, and then they'll start posting up, you know, the, the next week or so. Uh, after that, uh, future content we have coming up, we're gonna do um, the rally cage is done, and so uh, we can we're gonna go through that in another video, but. The rally car is, is, is getting there. Like, it's 
Shahid's got the, the motor swapped, the trans swapped. Uh, rally car is it's getting there. So some things we got to work on now is like get the calm set up, uh, get the seats in, harnesses in. Uh, we got to get the car painted and the cage painted. But we're gonna wait until after we get our rally logbook, um, and we actually have a rally plan dated uh, for um, October, STPR September. in September. <laughs> uh, so September thirteenth and fourteenth, we're gonna be at STPR. Uh, and that's kind of why I'm saying that we're going to have more content coming up too, because I know that we're going to be working on this car for sure. And then, uh, Travis has some big plans for his car. He actually has cams in his car now, and, uh, he's got some cool stuff going on with the Hyundai. So he's got a stock block Hyundai that he threw cams in. Uh, of course, he made 500 wheel last time with the yeah, dyno. And I think this time he's going to try to turn up the boost as well. Yeah, he's turned um, up the boost. I, th I think he's shooting for 600 on the stock block. Like, this is a stock mo stock rod, stock piston, stock motor, like no head studs. Like stock head bolts. <coughs> <coughs> Everything. <coughs> all, he's got, all he's got in it now is um, some, did you say GS cams? GSC uh, S1s, which is like actually the mildest GSC cam. But it's still like a good, good cam, and he's but, also got a 2.4 liter. So, but he also went from like the economy car cams to yeah, this. so it's a huge jump. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so we got that coming up. Um, Danny has uh, his car. Uh, it's been on the back burner for a while, but he has a full build sitting in the closet. He's got a new turbo, new intercooler, everything, and then Danny has a four stroke XT that we're gonna be getting running. Might have some video of us, yeah. of us just getting it running. It's going to be a quick off-road build if we do get it running or yeah. when we get it running. Yeah, so if we get it run, when, so right now we're just having some issues. It um, it has like a misfire, um, but it's not like... Uh, it's nothing it, basic. Yeah, it's be nothing easily basic. figured out. It's not coil packs or plugs or anything like that. Yeah. So we're... And it has good compression numbers, so yeah. we, we, we're kind of bum puzzled. We think it might be... Uh, might have to do with the um, ABCS, uh, right? Yeah, maybe uh, the ABCS or maybe like the TGVs or, or something weird. We're like even that. thinking maybe even like a timing. timing maybe the issue. timing belt slipped a tooth. I'm not um, really sure. But we're going to be working on that. We'll have videos on that. Um, what else we got going on? So we have plans for a new sleeper and we have purchased stuff to go towards that. So because, because this sleeper got sleeper. ruined, we're going to make another sleeper. Yeah, it's build. actually going to be... <laughs> and it might be even better. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be a better sleeper for sure. Um, it's going to be all-wheel drive, uh, but it might be automatic, right? Yeah, it might and be. Then, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna, we we got to figure out about the automatic part, and then it may be an SUV possibly. We'll see. <laughs> so. But that's all we can say for now. You just have to stay tuned. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to... It should be okay. fun. Um... But yeah, so the uh, sleeper car that you came for this part three, uh, it's it is actually finished, kinda. It it still needs some uh, harness stuff merged and uh, some maintenance done and things like that. But it's running and driving. Like I said, I drive it to work. Uh, and like, if you if you like swap GCs or Subarus, honestly, like like subscribe and like. It's gonna be it's it's really cool content and <clears throat> the car turned out really good. <coughs> it's tuned by Ed Hawkins. Ed Hawkins. Hawkins. <laughs> Hawkins. It's a blast. And uh and and uh it's it's a fun car. So yeah. um and I Danny's car like you know Danny's car is double the horsepower, and he he even gets in it and he smiles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, was, it makes all the right noises and it it weighs not too much so it's yeah. it's pretty fun. Yeah, I got uh, good sticky tires on it. So, but like we said, uh, after after we get done talking here, we're gonna roll some clips. And like I said, it might get funky, but we kind of just wanted to show what clips we had, and then that way you can kind of see going into part four or five, etc. That like where the build's going. Uh, we didn't want to kind of leave hang cliffhangers from the second video, um, and we missed a whole lot of content. So, um, what else we got? And that's about it about it so uh just keep watching and we're gonna roll a couple more clips yeah uh, the car. Stay tuned. all right so this is like a good old boy mechanic he said he uses and like i don't know if i can get the light to focus but there is like a 
a 12 point random size bolt holding this transmission on right now. This is like one of the trans bolts. And it was like, I could loosen it with my hand basically. Like Danny's about to put a wrench on it and like barely even do anything. And like the other one was like a 15. This one's like a like 12.5 bolt or some crap. Like I don't even know what size it is. It's like some standard stuff. I think it's like, I think I can get it my hand almost. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Holy crap. It's like, this is how you tighten bolts, guys. Like, <laughs> this is a transmission bolt. He's getting out of his hand. <laughs> so, this is what a hand tightened transmission bolt looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, you basically what you do is you just, you just put it in the trance and then. Just hand finger tight it, and what it does is when you launch, it has like a little play in it, and it like, so when you launch, basically like, you know, you give more play to the, to the suspension, you don't break anything, so you, the car launches, and you know, the the transmission separates just a little bit, Put a little power to and basically, yeah, it, it allows you to like stop, eliminate wheel hop, and you know, like, you get better launches and stuff, so we should be able to cut like, one five sixty foot on this car. <laughs> hey, what are you doing right now? I'm stripping the beater. The beater's beater's beater. Don't worry about what I'm doing, Danny. Hey, I think you should cut some of this metal out for the firewall for weight savings. I'm getting rid of this for uh, rally spares. Don't want to see how to lightweight tune for a sleeper. We're only putting half bolts in the sleeper, so we figured we'd go ahead and start cutting them now. Yeah, I think we're going to need like more lightweight tuning on this and like we probably don't even need the steering wheel or the steering rack so we'll probably just pull this thing out Nate said the floorboard's gonna be resting out. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> That's fine. His car ain't gonna be running this week, so. Yeah, it is. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. You put money to this and run it before yours? I got money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got the brake lines back in, the engine bay. Got the master cylinders in. And then now, <clears throat> before we get the harness put in, we're gonna do, we're doing a mock-up on the GD uh, setup for the AC. And so we're gonna drill some holes because the GC stuff, GC stuff doesn't match up. And Shaid says we're running AC, so there. So after lots of modifications, we're gonna have to address this later with like our fixed panel. I kind of messed up a lot, but whatever. Um, got the AC in. Shade's got the wiring harness uh, in again. Uh, I had to take it out when we went to Matthews to get the paint. Um, but got the GD dash modified up and fitted we got the wrx wire harness and we're actually using a gd core um still some slight modifications down here to do and then got to get the dash in and probably do some trimming on it but for now that should do at least enough to get us some fitment on the steering column and stuff